See, the thing about my mom is, she really, really, really believes that if she really wants something, it's gonna happen. And she believes that it's gonna happen because if somehow you really, really, really want something, then the gods themselves, or God himself, or the universe, will give it to you because you really, really want it. Kind of wishful thinking, praying, all these types of things, summoning energy from the universe, universal energy. And you ask them to define these terms and they don't really know what they mean or what they represent is just buzzwords that they keep hearing all these new age people use. I mean, if you're talking about energy, if you tell a physicist what's energy, you know, he's going to give you a specific definition that applies to everything, but their definition definitely doesn't. Anyways, so my mom thinks that, uh, that that's really true. For example, she really needed to find something the other day. She looked all over the place for it. She was looking, I guess, maybe for an hour, or maybe a bit more, and she was telling herself, you know, damn it, I really need to find this, it's important, I want it, I want to find it. And she found it. In, in, the, in the, the most illogical place, she needed to find an envelope. She found it in the bathroom. And so she told me, Alex, you see? Yeah. I don't know, I know you don't believe it, but I really, really wanted it, and it happened. And I said, Mom, your theory doesn't work, I'm sorry. I can't, uh, I can't accept your theory. And she's like, but it happens to me all the time. I said, Mom, your theory works. Based on the environment that you live in, your theory works for you, and it works with statistical probability, chance things happening. Because life and existence is basically sequences of events, and things happen. It's only we who perceive them as good or bad, but they just happen in reality. Anyways, so I, I told her, her her theory doesn't work. Because, first of all, I said the reason why you found it was because you wanted it so badly, so you physically continued searching for it. You wouldn't give up. So you no one made you do that, it was you. Because it was really, really important. If it wasn't really important, then you probably wouldn't pray for it and wouldn't look for it. And then whether you found it or not wouldn't matter. So again, it works with probability and chance and, and events. And so basically, you, you, were, you were motivated enough to go find it. And you f where did you check first? I asked her and she said, well, I checked, you know, the bedroom, the kitchen. I said, yes, the most logical places. But what happened when you realized that they weren't in those logical places? She said, well, I checked everywhere else, checked the bathroom. Well, bound to happen if it's not going to be in the initial places that you thought they would be in. So again, it works with events. So I told my mom, Mom, if, if you just got rid of the whole God complex or the universal energy or the wishful thinking, you would still be able to find it based on reality, based on your environment, the, the, the material resources you have near you, and, and statistical probability. Okay, and I said the reason why your theory breaks down is because if we apply it, if, if, if those one billion people starving on the planet apply it, it doesn't work for them. And I'm sure they want food a hell of a lot more than you want to find your thing. But you see, your theory doesn't work because they don't have, they're not in the proper environment, they don't have the material resources to get food, you know? And, and so no matter how much they apply your theory and they really, 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 really want it, it's not going to happen. And then I asked my mom, I said, Mom, why don't you just really, really want a million dollars right now? She's like, no, no, but you know, it has to be realistic. And I said, so are you saying that your theory or your wishful thinking has to work with statistical probability? Is that what you're telling me? Come on, Mom, this theory is pretty damn weak. And then she, cha she changes the definition and the definition. I said, you see, Mom, my philosophy of existence and life applies to all. I live without a deity, without a god, without any of that supernatural crap. And I accept myself as a part of this existence in a place and time where events take place. And the reason why I'm able to understand that is because I'm able to get out of my own human head with all my human perceptions and ideas and, and, and thoughts and everything. Step outside and realize that there is a, 
a whole objective reality outside of my body that exists side by side and that in fact I exist within it it not within me except for poetically of course but my mom is not able to get out of her head and many human beings can't and so they project their subjective ideologies and conceptions about reality to all of existence so if they were in the Andromeda galaxy, 2.5 million light years away from here on another planet, you know, with that same subjective perception of reality, they'd think the same thing there. In that other place and time, all the way there, they, they still think that. Because they are not able, humans are at this, at this stage now in their mental evolution, where not all of them, it, well in fact almost none of them are able to realize that they exist inside of a world in a living system, um, you know, on a, on a planet, and, and that they are completely integrated with physics and chemistry and the way the entire universe works. We think our brains are super big, but uh, most humans can't even realize that. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. We're a young species. We just became conscious. You know, and like you only you only live like 80 years or something. Well, for the most of human history, it was like 30. You know, what the fuck do you make of this? Of course it's easy to rely on your subjective, you know, ideas. You're comfortable with them, tradition, you know, you, you've known it all, you know, in your life. But it doesn't change the fact that reality outside you exists and that it's true. And that your little hope, your god thing, your whole religion, your magic, your wishful thinking, all of that stuff is just a figment of your imagination. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry everybody.